You're back. So, what did you find? Can we really trust Dima? Or is he hiding something? I'll sum it up. I found Dima's earliest memories. He's killed before. He's manipulating the whole island. Damn it. I was hoping I was wrong. But I just knew there was something. Do you know why he did it? I think he just wants peace for everyone on the island. Even if it means controlling them from the shadows. So he means the best? Should we help him? Is Acadia worth saving? There's good people. Acadia is still an ideal worth protecting. I'll do everything I... You're right. We have to see this through. Maybe you can use what you've found in Demas. I know you've been doing all the hard work. I've been making a... Uh -huh. Come talk to me when this is on. I hope you don't mind, but I had Chase shadow you. She saw you entering and leaving the nucleus. So, what was in my memory banks? Are we closer to resolving the conflict on this island peacefully? One of your memories was about a kill switch you installed to shut down power to Far Harbor and let the fog take them. It's all here on this holotape. Let me see this. I remember. I was afraid that Far Harbor might turn against us. See us as too different for their precious island. So I made a contingency plan. Mass murder. I hid the kill switch code because I couldn't stomach the thought of actually using it. Then I hid the memory because I couldn't even stand knowing I made it. What have I done? If the children of Adam were to ever get a hold of that code, they would destroy Far Harbor. Don't worry, Dima. I already have the code. Far Harbor is safe. Good. Now we just need to find some way to end this conflict. Have you found anything else in my memories? I have a memory of yours about a nuclear launch key. You knew how to detonate the sub in the nucleus all along. Give me a moment. I need to remember for myself. So... I chose to forget the launch key even existed. Poor Confessor Martin. Was I lying to him all that time? The submarine is rusted into the dry dock. The only target that missile is ever going to hit is the base itself. The nucleus. Where the children of Adam live. We have to keep that key out of the wrong hands. The Nucleus has innocent people living there among the Zealots threatening Far Harbor. Is the Nucleus even worth saving? Don't judge them by what Confessor Tectus has done. He's used their fears and hatred to turn them into a weapon against Far Harbor. But there's still time to turn them away from that. I found the launch key already. I'll make sure it's never used. Thank you. Was there anything else in my memories? Some way we can work towards peace? Your memories led me to a gravesite. You killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a synth. So you could control Far Harbor. What? That's impossible. Let me see what you found. I... I did it. I killed a woman from Far Harbor and replaced her. I stripped a synth's identity from her and made her an agent.
Why did you do it? I needed to calm Far Harbor, but I couldn't live with them. Okay. Let's be practical. You're right. Uh-huh. I'm starting. To... If they knew I had done this, they wouldn't destroy just me. And then without us, the fog condensers will eventually fall into disrepair. I have an idea. There's right. I'll keep your secret, Dima. Thank you. Maybe the guilt will keep me focused. As horrifying as it might be to suggest, this memory you've recovered has given us a new option. If Far Harbor could be made more tranquil by our intervention, then perhaps the same trick will work twice on the Children of Atom. We could replace High Confessor Tectus with someone willing to forgive Far Harbor and work towards reconciling. If it means peace for the island, all right. Tell me the plan. This will be difficult for both of us, but I think it's our only option. I'll need you to leverage your access to the High Confessor and lure him to a secluded location. You should be able to find a spot in the Bay's old command center where you can deal with him discreetly and hide the remains. Once your work is done, return here and the replacement will move in and take command. You really think you can get together a convincing replacement? Yes. Helping synths recover what they've lost means we've had to become familiar with memory wipes and facial reconstruction. And I knew Tectus very well when I was still living in the submarine base. I'll use that as the basis for our replacement's new memories. You simply need to deal with the real Confessor Tectus while I prepare a volunteer. Okay. I'll do it. Any ideas on how I can get him alone? Tectus lives in fear of being usurped by his predecessor, Martin. Despite that, in all likelihood, Martin is dead. But if you somehow uncovered evidence of Martin's imminent return, I expect Tectus would be interested hearing all you know in private. All we have to do is manufacture Martin's uprising. To do so, I'll need raw material. Martin recorded many of our conversations. Those in the nucleus have certainly been destroyed, but I built a small refuge for Martin many years ago when he needed respite from the family. Go there and collect any tapes you can find. I'll begin work on our replacement. And here, I want you to have... as well as I. They're not meant for this. 
this place. The fog grows thicker every year. How long before the condensers are finally overwhelmed? It's not banishment, Dima. It's mercy. I'm sorry, Martin, but no. They have as much right to be here as you do. Right? This place is trying to kill them. And now my people are at my throat because of the mess you created by allowing them to stay. And if you can't recognize that, then I suppose there's no reason for you to be here. I think you should go. Martin, please. This can be solved in other ways. Get out! Very well. We'll talk again when you come to your senses. Mistaken? Does your god not require you die in a nuclear blast? Is that not why you've taken up in the nucleus? It's not a transaction, Dima. Adam requires nothing of us. He has granted us a chance to become something greater. To divide our weak mortal frames and bring life to millions of new worlds. We are simply accepting the opportunity his glow presents, whatever form it may take. So if you found the launch key, you wouldn't use it? That, I don't know. Are you afraid? I'd be mad to say I wasn't, but we've made a home for ourselves here. Friends, a family. A place you belong. Exactly. The nucleus. It is a blessing of the truest order. It would be hard to leave such a gift, even if it is for another. But regardless, the key is lost. So, until Adam sees fit to return it, Dima. I recovered the tapes from Martin's hideout. Excellent. Yes. These look like they'll serve. Let me take a listen. Hmm. Good to hear his voice again. Oh. Some grim material to work with. There. No pleasure in twisting the words of an old friend. But I believe Martin would understand. Uh -huh. This tape should be sufficient to pique the High Confessor's interest in joining you in the command center. But Tectus is nothing if not wary. Earning his trust before approaching should help guarantee this all plays out more smoothly. You'll then have to dispose of the remains. Old maintenance shaft walls were never terribly well maintained. They should be able to serve your needs. Once you're done, return here, and we'll send the replacement on his way. Now, are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Then I won't keep you any longer. Here, the tape. The fate of this island rests in our works. The triumph of Adam is inevitable. His Excuse me, High Confessor. Heard. Greetings, my child. You know you've set quite the example here. True devotion to faith and family. Now, how may I serve? I recovered a holotape. Confessor Martin is planning to come back and take over. We should come up with a plan, but, but not here. The command center tunnels should be far enough away from the rest of the children. Martin, it can't. Play it. I want to hear that coward's voice.
innocent children. Tectus, time is over. Master. The nucleus must prepare for a new order. Mine. I can't believe it. He's alive. None of the other children can know about this. The command center, you said. I'll ensure we aren't disturbed. Ah, there you are. Now, Martin, tell me what you found. It's over, Tectus. Dima sent me to kill you, and I will if I have to. But if you agree to leave for good, I'll let you live. You're working for... You're not bluffing, are you? There is no place beyond his reach on this island, is there? Fine. The... The damned machine will have what it wishes. It sounds like quite the experience, but I'm glad to know there will be peace on the island again. Atom's vision was clear on the matter. I... I must thank you again for sheltering me while under its sway. Think nothing of it. You are welcome to stay as long as you like. You are too kind, Dima. I should only need just... A little more fresh air. Dima. I suppose you've heard the news. The High Confessors had a vision. Atom demands peace. Can I assume you're here to tell me your task is done? I convinced him to leave the island, never return. You did? Hmm. Perhaps not an ideal resolution, but I suppose the end result is the same. Peace can finally come to the island. It's a heavy burden what we've done. But now the Nucleus, Far Harbor, and Acadia will all flourish. Together. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about my reward. You've certainly earned one. So don't worry. I'll handle things from here. I'll arrange talks between the Children of Atom and Far Harbor. They will learn to prosper together, under our guidance. The Children will revel in their irradiated bastion. The Harbor Men will continue to survive and reclaim what the Fog has taken from them. And my people will remain safe. Here, for all you've done. You should also pay a visit to the Nucleus. I believe the High Confessor will want a word with you. And of course, you are welcome in Acadia whenever you like. Uh -huh. After all, where would we be without you? Gather, brothers and sisters, gather to hear his word.
peace. In the throes of a brilliant vision, he spoke, and now I obey. Atom demands peace. With Far Harbor. With Acadia. Within our family. And any found disobeying Atom's word will answer for their crime. Let none stand in the way of his radiant will. Glory to Atom! Glory to Atom! Excuse me, High Confessor. You. I knew it. I knew it was you. In my vision. There, beside our brilliant master. Here. You must have this. It... it only seems right it's worn by his favored child. So, it sounds like there's going to be peace on the island. It was you, wasn't it? You found a way to fix things. I just hope it lasts. Peace can be fragile. That's a good point. But, at least now, everyone has a chance, right? Hey, listen. So, when you first showed up, you came to get me, to bring me home. I've been thinking a lot about that. I hurt Kenji and Ray by leaving, didn't I? I could have just stayed home, pretended everything was all right, but I left them. Should I go back? They obviously still care about me, or who they think I am. They need a daughter. They deserve to have one. Everything in Acadia has been settled. I found my answers. Maybe it's time I did something for someone else. You already made your decision by coming here, Kasumi. Acadia is your home now. Your family. You're right. I need to decide where I belong, and it's here. Look after Kenji and Rei for me, all right? They're good people. I didn't mean to hurt them. I... I didn't know. Thank you for everything. I'll see you around Acadia. Hey, you got a second? Word is you were asked to go check out some boat store. We're gonna go in. <laughs> hey there. Hey, the children of Adam are dangerous. Don't trust them. Everyone, quiet, quiet. High Confessor Tectus, the leader of the Children of Adam, has made a formal peace with us. <laughs> you believe him? I do. He said it was a vision from Adam. And if you know anything about them, you know how serious that is. But those missionaries of his... They won't be a problem. He's keeping them clear of Far Harbor. No more preachers coming. So are they just going to forgive what Alan's done? They'll, well, God commanded them to let that go. So, yeah, I think they've forgiven us. So they'll stay on their part of the island, and we'll stay on ours. That's all. Guns, if the stowaways keep work. pushing, one day I'll be gone on the high tide. The children of Adam are trying then to kill us all. Be. Drive us into the ocean.
My daughter is human. She's not a synth. You're back. But Kasumi isn't with you? Mr. Nakano, Kasumi isn't coming home. She's staying with the synths up north. What? I hired you to find her, to bring her back safely. You left her there? She made a choice, Kenji. But why wouldn't she come home? She doesn't still think she's a synth, does she? She's not a synth, but she has people there she cares about. So, Rei was right. Kasumi needed to make her own life away from us. I guess I just didn't want to believe she had grown up, that she was going to leave me. There's one last thing you and I need to discuss. Your reward. My daughter might not be coming home, but at least she is safe. We don't have much to offer, but my father traveled the Commonwealth. He had quite a collection before he died. I buried it all near the house. I'm not the explorer he was. I don't need them. I think they would be better with you. What's in this collection? Things he picked up out at sea or trading at different towns he visited. I never really sat down and looked through it all. Thank you, Kenji. You've earned it. You traveled far and back to get me answers. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's been a long day. <laughs>